The reason that you might not be starting your photography business could be because you have no followers or low followers. If you know your photography niche and you've created work that brings value to that niche, you can start your content creation business today. You can stop waiting. Notice I said content creation business and not photography business, you're never going to be truly ready to start. And by the way, if you're waiting for the perfect conditions, or the right amount of followers or all the YouTube knowledge you can soak in, you should probably finish this video though, because I'm going to help you break the cycle. How do we learn? We learn by doing. You manage to learn how to make photographs by doing what? Picking up a camera, setting your intention, and then doing it. Why would starting your photography business be any different? You're going to suck at this in the beginning, by the way. If you're not willing to start though, you're only lengthening the time that you're gonna be a terrible freelancer. You do need a plan though, and your plan becomes clearer, clearer and clearer by the day after you start. There is a way to start getting paid clients, and you could start doing those reps today, right now. There's five key areas of focus that you need to put all your energy into in order to have a successful photography business. Five, start your entrepreneurial journey without waiting for the followers. Embrace the fact that you can do this starting from scratch. Necessary numbers. That's number one. How much money do you need to make every month in order to sustain or grow a profitable business? Focus on the essential numbers for your business, like conversion rates, rather than social media followers or other vanity metrics. What's your nut? Say the amount of money that you need to make per month is $4,000, and $4,000, that's not a lot of money. Imagine, you could do that a couple of different ways. You could make $400 10 times, or you could make $1,000 four times. Which one seems easier? If you target the kinds of clients that have $1,000 to pay for a photo shoot and only having to get four of them per month in order to make the same amount of money as you're making right now, magnetic messaging. You need to learn the skill of writing and you need to do that targeted towards an audience that's your niche. How you craft magnetic messaging is not by selling. We don't need to sell when we're giving something that a client needs and wants. It's a transformational experience. This was you before, and this is you after we do our session. Once you think of it that way, it becomes super easy to sell the transformation. And once you've photographed a couple of people and you've got testimonials, that's literally hard evidence where people are actually saying, I've worked with this photographer, here's the result. They're great. Here's an action that you can do. Create a transformation statement that encapsulates exactly what you have to offer. Ensure that all your communication aligns with this messaging, a pipeline of prospects. We can create an ongoing pipeline of potential clients if we do it properly. Now, when it comes to creating a prospects pipeline, a pipeline of potential clients ensures a steady flow of business opportunities. Authentic relationship building. You need to build authentic relationships with your potential clients because building relationships is how people become clients. And then once you have them as a client, maintain that authentic relationship and that's going to keep people there forever. Daily revenue generating activities. Daily activities should be aligned with generating revenue. This is showing you what type of activities actually generate clients. What you're learning from everything that you're doing day to day when you actually start your freelance career is you're learning what works and what doesn't. If you need four clients per month and regularly engaging with people every day brings in potentials, if you focus on that only, it'll completely change your reality. This helps you optimize and only focus on the things that actually move the needle. So identify the key things that you're doing during the day that lead to connections. Those connections would lead to sales and focus your daily efforts only on those activities. Regularly review these activities and adjust day to day what's working and what's not. Maintaining consistency and focusing on the right activities are crucial for sustainable business growth. Every day when you wake up, ask yourself this, what can I do to get a client to work with me today? What value could I bring a stranger today? At the end of each day, ask yourself, what did I do today to bring value to somebody? This becomes a great test of what you're actually 
doing on a daily basis? What's actually helping your business and what's not? When you interact genuinely with potential clients, actually show interest in their needs. If you're not trying to push for the sale, how does it feel when you walk into Best Buy and they're saying, hey, do you need a TV? Or hey, can I help you? Like You're like, no. And if they try harder, you resist harder. When someone goes into the Apple store, everything's there. You get to touch everything. You can just ask anybody, hey, can I have a MacBook Pro? And they're like, yeah, let me go get one for you. It becomes super easy and they don't have to sell because Macs sell themselves. When you provide value and show interest in your potential client's needs without immediately pushing for the sale, magic things happen. Here's something. Ask this of every potential client. Ask them this, what's your biggest frustration about X? What's your biggest fear about X? Insert your specific niche. Imagine you're a photographer who shoots food and beverage. Ask a restaurant owner, what's your biggest pain point about marketing your restaurant? How hard has it been for you to find a photographer that you can work with consistently, that understands your goals? These are the kinds of questions that you ask. Where do you think that you need the most support? Here's a great one. If money was no object, what would you do with your business? When you ask that to a potential client, it makes their mind kind of go off into ideal situations. Once they tell you that answer, you can create a solution tailor-made for them. And the thing that's amazing about this, there's no pressure. You're trying to see if there's a fit with you and the client. And also, you don't have to work for everybody. That's why you ask these questions. The ones that there is a fit, go deep. The ones that aren't a fit, keep them on your list. Maybe there'll be a job later. Maybe they'll refer you to somebody else. Bring value to one person per day. Learn about them. Learn about what they need and then make content to serve them. That's how you blow up a social media account. If you want to learn more about how I'm helping photographers transform themselves right here on the internet, watch another video. Watch this one here. I'm going to tell you the quickest way to leave your nine to five and turn into a pro photographer. That video is next. I appreciate you for watching.